Hey, Tim from Budget Bronco. Thanks for watching today. Today we're gonna do another lighting project, specifically here at the back of the Bronco. Um, if you have the halogen style taillights, uh, like I do on my base, as well as you'll find on Black Diamond and I believe Big Bend models, um, the halogen bulbs are not awesome for reverse. Um, it'll put out some light, but it's not awesome. Um, so today we're going to be installing LED uh, reverse lights uh, that I found on Amazon. And I'll uh, put a link uh, up the top right here and also in the description of these uh, specific LED bulbs that I think are real good. At the end of the video, uh, after I show you how to install them, I'll also show you what it looks like. Uh, these are what the bulbs look like, just to give you a sneak peek and uh, I'll show you how to install them, show you the difference between the stock halogen lighting and the results with this LED lighting, how much brighter they are. And uh, so let's go. So the first step uh, to removing the tail light and replacing the bulb is you have to remove one, two, three of these uh, plastic clips. Um, note that uh, I'm gonna show you everything on the driver's side today, the exact same process applies for the passenger side. Um, you only have to remove these three. Uh, there's four of them. You don't have to touch this one at the top. You don't have to touch the two bolts. Okay, so three removed. Okay, next we're going to remove this plastic uh, trim piece. And the way you do that is peel back this uh, rubber strip. Now you've got a gap here and you're gonna use a pry tool. There's two clips in here. So you need to get it in that gap and then just give it a twist. Now pop the top one, pop the bottom one. Now you've got this side clear and you're gonna come around to the side of the vehicle you need to reach underneath the flare and uh, the lowermost clip, you want to pop that just to give us a little bit of wiggle room. And then with this trim piece, you'll now be able to pop it out. I'll be a little careful here, get my stand with two hands. There we go. This is now free. Now that we've got that bottom trim piece removed, we have to remove this trim piece. Uh, the first thing you do is with a uh, 10 millimeter socket, there's one bolt down here at the bottom. It doesn't take much to get that off. Let's give that a little bit of loose one bolt and then once you have that one bolt off the rest of it comes off just with clips so one 10 millimeter bolt and then the rest just give it a tight uh, one two three clips that'll pop out next there's another 10 millimeter bolt down here at the corner of the light There's another one down here. You don't need to touch that one, just the one that's closest to the light. And then the last two bolts to get the headlight free, uh, two eight millimeter bolts, one here and one right there. Again, these don't take much to remove at all uh, and therefore also don't require much torque to reassemble either. those two bolts loosened up, the tail light will pop right off. And 
now we have access to the back of the tail light. Uh, you can see this, by the way, this is the wiring in the previous video where I installed the uh, uh, trailer hitch wiring harness. So I have the headlight uh, supported here. Um, and this is the turn signal bulb. The lower one here is the reverse bulb. So it's just a matter of giving that a uh, counterclockwise turn. And then it comes right out. The only thing I'll note is those wires are pretty uh, thin gauge. I'm surprised they're so skinny. Um, just be a little bit careful. And then I'll pop this out. Just the camera here a little bit so you can see. That bulb is just going to kind of come right out. Got the bulb out just to show you again a comparison of the two. Uh, the halogen bulb, there's only so much light that uh, one filament can put out. Uh, these LED bulbs have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, like 33, something like that, uh, different LED panels. So that's going to be nice and bright. Simply put it right back into that connector. And then it's going to go in and get a clockwise about a quarter turn. Give you a little click and then you're good to go. Now I've got that uh, new bulb in. Just get everything lined up here and uh, the clip back in. Make sure the wires aren't getting pinched by anything. That's the only thing I get to be a little careful about. Um, it has like some guides you can see. Uh, line up your clips. And you can kind of feel it clip into place when it's ready to go. So now that I've got it clipped into place, I'll do fast, full, uh, fast uh, wind all of the other uh, panels and bolts. Cool, now with everything all buttoned up, uh, the engine is not running, by the way, but I do have it in reverse. You can see uh, how nice and bright that is. So uh, the very next thing I'll show you is uh, I'm gonna wait till nighttime and show you a before and after from inside the truck uh, backing up my driveway. You can see the difference in how much brighter these LEDs are. So let's go to that. That's it for today on Budget Bronco. Uh, if you have these halogen taillights, like uh, I'd have them on my base, I think this is a really worthwhile, easy, and for only $30, uh, definitely a good investment. Uh, it really, as you saw in that video, can increase the amount of light you have when you're backing up, uh, especially at night. So uh, I think it's a worthwhile project. So if you like my videos, I appreciate uh, a like and a subscribe down there. And as always, thanks for watching.